Hi everybody, it's Emily from Vintage Polka Dot Shop. And today I'm going to change these uh, cookbooks into the beginning, do the work on the covers um, to turn them into Christmas planner journal situations. Now, is this how I'm supposed to be spending my day today? No, it is not, but the, the urge has struck, so I'm gonna do it. So I thought I'd just kind of bring you along. It's not really a tutorial, it's probably more of a craft of me. We're gonna start with this one. Um, so, and I will try to, when I post this video, um, uh, link, I've got, I've got so, a bunch of these I could sell and I'll try to get some listed in case you want to follow along and play. All right, so I'm using a Mod Podge Medium. This one, um, the hinges are really good, the spine's good. Um, I usually, by the way, only keep ones that are really flawed like this is. So like the this part was peel, peeling off of the spine, so I just peeled it off. Um, I have cleaned these uh, the best I could with a magic eraser. I don't mind the fact that it still has like patina and all that because that just, to me, it just adds to it. Um, and then I have a plan to cover up this. So first I have a Mod Podge Medium, just had it in my stash. Um, it's not like any better than any other, I don't think. Now, this is not 100% necessary on this one, but these Better Homes and Gardens books, um, I find that their spines weaken over time. And this one's from the 70s, so I'm going to put just a little, I'm gonna put some Tyvek here just and really try to get it into like the groove here just to kind of give it an extra little attachment to the cover. Um, and then I'm gonna be covering it with fabric, but we will, my thought was we'll do a uh, cover, this one with the Tyvek and then we'll do the other one and hopefully it'll be dry enough that I can, you know, cover this one with fabric. Um, I kind of did some prep work. I'm just doing a little bit down here and I'm using a mat. So if um, it shows, it's not like that big a deal. It's not too much of a contrast. And now here's the part I'm not very good at. Um, now I cut this a little shorter. Um, you could go the full length, but I'm going to just be honest here. If I had cut it, this is also going to be shorter than the fabric. If I had, um, cut it the full length, it probably would be showing under the fabric. I'm not very good at precise things. So I have to work with my limitation, my limitations. All right. So let's get this part. I'll just slap that on there. Oh yeah. I'm using my fingers because, you know, messy crafter here. And we want this attached, oops, pretty well because the fabric is going to be attached to that. Oh, I'm trying to, let me get my paper towel. Hold on a second. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. I know it's riveting looking at the book cover there. Okay. I don't want to make it goopy. So that looks like it's rub that on and the fabric in theory, if I didn't measure too wonky should cover this up and kind of help hold it down. So I'm just kind of adding an extra layer of protection stability because I'm planning on selling these. Um, oh, I will tell you, I've kind of been second guessing myself a little bit like, Oh, do I want one? But I'm not, uh, I like to craft, I'm not necessarily a planner. But I also thought these would be really cute if you didn't, you know, for a December daily, um, Christmas planner, Christmas memory keeping. I love the fact that it's got the rings on the inside so you can take things out every year, add things in. Um, not quite sticking down here. Probably need to stop fuddle fuddling, fidgeting, foofing it, what have you. All right. Okay. All right, I think I'm gonna go over the top. I might have to go back with just like a different glue, like the reptile glue or something. We'll see. I keep fiddling with it and I think I'm pulling it up. So I'm just gonna, I don't even feel like I need to 
I think I just need to rub this down, like kind of burnish it. I'm trying to, I have to say when I did this, I have a blog post on how I repaired it. And I swear, I think it was easier to uh, repair it than try to stick this down. Okay. And I don't even know 100% if this is necessary. You might even be able to use like tape, like packing tape or something. Um, just whatever you have. I have this Tyvek. I'm a big fan of Tyvek. All right. So I'm going to set that behind me. Squish that on there really good. Fiddle with that. I can't stop fussing. I can't. Do you ever do that when you're like gluing stuff down and everything? It's like, okay, just leave it alone. I might have to go back and just do this part and that's okay. Um, all right. Just leave it alone. Now on this other one, set that behind me. This one, now I don't, I think you'll be able to see it. Um, I absolutely love this one. Um, I don't, oh yeah, you can see it was split. And so I did put some reptile glue in there. I'm kind of rubber banded. It's not 100% secure, but that's what the Tyvek is for. And then I'm gonna do some stuff on the inside. Um, but at least the one thing I like about this Betty Crocker one, I've never made a journal out of one of these before, but it has this great, book tape or cloth tape on the inside. Um, so you kind of have like this extra, you have something extra to work with. All right, so where did the time it go for this? Is this it? I don't know. Okay, so much for being all ready and prepared. Uh, I don't feel like that is it. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I was trying to be all slick. No, it must be. It's the only one. Oh, wait, wait, wait for it. Ha <laughs> ha. Is this better or worse? Uh, I think this one here is actually better. All right, we're going to go with the bigger one. Um, I'm trying not to go too far over the edge on this one because um, I don't want this to show. It's just a little extra protection. This would be so much easier if I didn't have the, the thing inside it. So we're just going to slap this on, get it right in there in the split. Okay. And I think you know what I'm going to do because it does have that split and it's a little bit wonky right there. I think I'm going to try oh, see i don't want to cover up this the fabric that i have going over this is going to cover up the design a little bit um yeah i think you know what i think i might do okay good we got a little extra where the split is i think i might do um the fabric tack or three and one after this dries before I put the fabric down. We'll see. I'm going to use this to attach the fabric too. And I just got it in my hair. <sighs> I'm just on a roll today. You had one of those days. Um, uh, but I am so happy to be working on Christmas. Uh, I feel very inspired. These are going to be uh, retro themed journals. Let's try that. And as you can see, I do not have it perfectly straight, but I'm mainly trying to get it on this spine part. You know, I might need to rubber band this um, to help it stay in place. Luckily, there's going to be fabric holding it down too. Isn't this bad? I just love this um, cover. So pretty. Yeah, I don't know, guys. Sometimes it's better to practice. Oh, and you know what? I'm like all the way to slide it down a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe for this one, maybe a rubber band to hold it while it dries. Um, I probably should have made the tie big bigger, but I didn't want to go. I really, I mean, this is one of those personality things, you know, like everybody has their own little quirks. And I really don't like to cut in too much to the design when I'm doing the thing. Let me go get, yeah, you know what? I think we're gonna do a little 
We're going to do a little three in one, my friends. All right. See, you get to figure it out as I figure it out. And maybe we still might need rubber band. Boy, sometimes I just don't want to be patient. <laughs> I want it now. I want it to cling to it now. I want it to stick now. Oh my gosh, it's a real problem. Now, I want it now. Okay, Um. Let me, I'll be right back. Let me go grab a rubber band or two. And here I come, here I come, here I come, here I come. All righty. So maybe I'll practice some editing and edit some of this. Okay, I kind of let it grip. I did this to kind of, when I put it, I knew the glue wouldn't completely hold in that crack, but I wanted it a little bit. Oh my, it didn't even, yeah, I think it probably needs a bigger piece of Tyvek. But as I said, I, the Tyvek is kind of like a bonus layer. I'm hoping the fabric will do most of the work. It's just to kind of give a little extra support. And then on the inside, I made, for the inside, I made, um, you know, like the fabric tape with the carpet tape, because I found that gives really good um, support too. But I was really impressed when I opened up this. I hardly ever find these Betty Crocker um, picture cookbooks. I think the Better Homes and Garden ones are just more common. And uh, it was kind of, I was impressed to see that tape there. Like they knew it was going to be a breaking point. All right. I will be right, hold on. No, I said I'd be right back, but clearly, okay, I will be right back. Okay, so this is the fabric I've done for the spine. I It's an old napkin and I put uh, bias tape um, over the top and the bottom. I left this seam here, I'm gonna put it so it's like towards the back and then I'm thinking but I'll probably wait for a little bit here. Um, like after this is glued and I've got my design here, which is going to be something like this. Well, it's not something like this. It's going to be that. Um, then I think I'll put, I have this cool old green rickrack. Then I might do that. I might even go back and do it down that side. But we'll see. One thing at a time. Alrighty. So let's see how this goes. Now this is barely... Um, wide enough so I think I just need to be patient and I'm going to use the Mod Podge um to hold it all in place because that's kind of usually what I've done for book covers so let's see how it comes out shall we all right so we're gonna put well it's not Mod Podge it's the but decoupage medium and as I said before you can use um, whatever one you have on hand. I I prefer matte, but I don't really know if it makes a huge difference um, when you're gluing fabric down. Another thing that might work, especially if you have finesse, which we have established, I do not have any finesse, um, is like a spray adhesive, but boy, you better get it right the first time. Okay, so I have this sticking a little bit past the top. Um, I kind of, I kind of like that. So, and we got, so I'm just kind of going slow ish <laughs> and we're going to add, I might just use, I might have to go back with the fabric tack on that. Um, you could probably use art glitter glue too. I, um, I like art gl glitter glue, but I don't like how often for me, the bottle clogs, I find it extremely frustrating to use um so i have it i don't use it i have been using the reptile glue um that seems pretty good yeah see i think this part i'm gonna have to um go back well we'll see i might be able to go back with the mod podge medium but it might be a mix here i might just be doing a mix so we're just gonna slather that on be nice and generous with it um because we want it to stay in place. And I don't really, if I have to, I will. I really don't want to go over the top of the fabric with this. Um, 
I don't mind if it oozes through, but okay, here we go. See, probably if I had done my, um, uh, you know, what that thing I put underneath, <laughs> I can't remember what it's called, but you know, the white layer, maybe if I had made it this wide, it would have been a little easier. Okay, see now it has stretched a little bit, so it's a little longer than I want off the bottom, but it's not terrible. It's, to me, it's better than having like the spine show or having Tyvek. See, if I, let it, I knew if I let it go, it'd come back to me. Um, I think it's a little better than that already. So I might see if I can slide it up just a tad without wrinkling it. Can I do it? Can I do it? I think I can. I think I can. Okay. Now see how it's not, as I said, I think I just need to have a heavy hand. Just slap it on there. Maybe even put some on the fabric. There we go. Seems to be getting some tooth to it now. The hard part is going to be patient, being patient and letting this dry. Um, you know, I'm so used to all these paper glues that we use that dry so fast. And when I was doing, um, like making crafts, like Christmas crafts, you know, like sewn ones and everything, um, I used a hot glue gun and that was pretty fast. Alrighty. So this is a little crooked. So you know what my solution to that being a little crooked is probably it's gonna have the rick rack over it. Um, but I'm gonna wait until this is dry before I glue the rick rack. Um, and I think it's just cause it was the way the napkin was itself, even though I used a rotary cutter and measured it to, to cut it between that and the pulling, but it actually does not bother me. I love this fabric. It's totally the vibe. I like it even more now that I see it on here. So I'm going to move that and let that dry and try to be patient. Now let's see how did this one do. Take the rubber bands off and how to do, how to do, how to do. It looks like it is stuck. All right. Nice. Nice. All right. Now for that one, for this one, not that one, this one, um, what I did was that, I got to trim these. Um, you know that that fake leather, the pleather, the vegan leather they have at Hobby Lobby on the roll? It's like wide and it comes on a spool and it's with their ribbons. That's what this is. I already had it in my stash. Um, I should have cut these out of time. I apologize. Um, anyway, I had those, that in my stash. So I liked the color and then my thought is I'm going to put either ribbon or rickrack along the top after I glue this down. And then I used a stitch on my sewing machine um, to do that. And I love how it kind of gives it this really um, like a wintry, I don't know. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay. So once again, let's see. Now this is much thicker than the napkin. Um, so we'll have to see how it sticks to the Tyvek and the cover. So I'm going to be real heavy handed here. Not going to be shy with the decoupage medium. And, uh, you might be able to just dilute, um, you know, like Aline's or, um, I don't know if Elmer's would do it, but maybe that tacky, tacky glue. Okay. Yeah. See, I was kind of afraid of that. I think... The way to do this is going to be um, concentrate on the spine, go as straight as I can, and then go back with the other glue for the for the sides. I just have a, see it's hardly sticking. So this might be, I might have to pause it and experiment because it's not really um, grabbing it. The other thing I might try is just the three in one, but let's give this a shot. I'm just gonna concentrate on the spine um, boy, you guys get to learn with me. I mean, I just love the look of this. So I really want to use it. This might also be a situation where I have to go back and try it with spray glue or something. Um, and patience. Ah, patience. So I don't want to cover up. I want it well covered, but I don't want to, I knew it was going to go over this design a little bit. I mean, I just don't know how you can't have it. You know, you got to get it on the spine. Oh, I got decoupage medium on my shirt. That's right. 
that is okay. So let's, I'm almost thinking, what if we, yeah, I don't know if it's grabbing. I might have to pause this and try something else because it feels like it is not grabbing it at all. Nope, nope, not grabbing. So don't use the decoupage medium with this. It's not gonna work, it's not strong enough. So I'm gonna go wash my brush and I'll be right back and we'll experiment with something else. See you in a bit. Okay, so here's what I did. Um, I still need to glue down, oh, that's pretty good. I need to glue down here. I ended up taking this outside and used craft bun and I put I put pieces of paper right here and here so because you know I'm not I'm a messy crafter so if I don't cover this up it's going to be covered in glue and then I sprayed just down the spine for the most part I mean I had it kind of up to here so if it went there that was okay and then I um sprayed the back of this so that way because with, with when you use this kind of glue, if you have two surfaces, it's supposed to stick better. This is what I was taught. So now looks like that side looks pretty good. This side, and then I have my rubber bands, which I thought hopefully this will work. I'm going to just use good old um, three in one uh, glue and I'm putting extra glue I can see part of the crack there where like this Mod Podge did not stick. So I am going to just load it up and then use my towel to wipe off the, any Uzis. All right, can you see what I'm doing? Make sure. So it looks like, looks like this might work. Hopefully, hopefully, cause I really like it. I like this kind of pleather with this, the color with the, um, design. I do really like it. All right. So I'm just kind of squishing it down. It might still need to be a little bit more, but we're going to just use the rubber bands as like a little, hole. oh, that one broke. That one's not going to work. No sorry, Bob. All right. Let's try that one. All right. So, so what are you guys working on right now? Are you working on Christmas? Are you working on fall? I watched, um, I think it was yesterday, Gail Gustinelli courses won't be up for a while, but this video I'm making, but I watched Gail Gustinelli's um, tour of her craft room with the her Christmas stuff, and oh, I felt, I was like, yes, I totally get it. I enjoyed it so much, um, though I don't, I mean, I know her family, her daughter was like, oh my gosh, mom, I thought it looked pretty good. I mean, she knew where everything was. Um, okay. So, alrighty, I think that's pretty good. Let's look at the state of the other one, which I might have to go grab another rubber band, but let's take a look. So, oh yeah, so we need a little tack down here, a little tack right here. Um, that looks good. So let's see here, it might even be um, dry enough where I can start on the the picture, you know, why this is drying. Try to be efficient with our time since sometimes we just have limited bits, times to craft. Okay, and then, okay, that's, this is down good. Um, I'm happy with that, but it's just a piece of cotton napkin. I just love how groovy it is. Alrighty, and just right here. So you wanna make sure that it's all good and down. Okay, and then hopefully my, you can learn from my mistakes. Hopefully I learn from my mistakes. I always feel like it's good to make a mistake because it's a lot more memorable how you did it when you have to rethink it and strategize and everything. Alrighty, so let's go ahead. Oh, I got glue all over my hands. Oh, okay. Do you remember when you were in elementary school, it always seemed like there was a little boy that liked to put like the white glue on his hands and peel all the, the glue off. I mean, I'm not trying to be, was it sexist, but it was always a little boy. All right, or at least for our generation. Alrighty, I'm gonna, I have these tr little um, threads. Now this is a picture of my 
dad and his brother. Well, I guess he's my uncle, John. Just that Don, John died before I was born. So I, um, I always just think of him as John. Okay, so we're going to put that there. But I just realized something. Uh, hold on a second. Okay, I just realized I didn't remember. Usually I'm much more together than this, but I didn't remember where I had put the plaque, the word plaque, the Tim Holtz one. I think these are probably from last year, I'm guessing. Um, 94, 203 is the number. I'll see if I can find them somewhere. Um, I know he's doing different ones this year. So I put a little dab of glue. Oh, you can't see what I'm doing. I put a little dab of glue there and I'm hoping that it's caught enough. And then I'm going to open uh, the long fasteners, which I probably don't even need the long ones, but they're here. I knew where they were. <laughs> so I got two of those. And let's see how well this will work. I was going to like do this while the camera was off, my phone was off. And then I thought, you know what? Um, this way, if I mess up, you guys can learn from that too. So I need to make the hole a little bigger. Um, let's see, will it work? Oh yeah, there we go. There's one. And, sorry, you can't see. I can't see, you can't see, nobody can see. He, she, we, they see. Okay, time to congregate the verbs. All right, conjugate. Alrighty, so we got that. Now we're gonna flip them over, flip it over. And, oh yeah, I think that will work really well. Now, it's important when you do this that you make sure you clean this cover because People use these in their kitchens, and kitchens are greasy. All right, so the, I used one of those, and I used that. Um, and there's the uh, skew, in case you're wondering. I think I got those at Joann's. I don't think it was like, though our Joann's is kind of inconsistent with the Tim Holtz Christmas stuff. See, my plan is glue this down first and let it dry and we're going to try to cover make sure all the the letters are covered up um and you might see the top of my head all right i'm just looking at it now trying to get an idea oh let me put my tool away here and then we'll um i'll probably let this dry and then do the rick rack so we're gonna be generous with the glue now is not the time to be chintzy. Don't need to go quite. I mean, you want to go to the edge, but it is going to ooze a little bit. So we don't have to worry about that. It is, it's been fall here in Oregon. And right now the sun is shining. So I like that. I like it when you get a, a little bit of glue there on the brads. I like, I like uh, how we get seasons here, but it's not like overly dramatic we definitely have a winter we definitely have a fall and a spring and a summer but we don't have uh tons of snow like some of you guys do all right so i'm just kind of slide this around a little bit just to see okay i'm gonna stand up and look at it look down at it make sure all right now we're just gonna push it and get that in there really good I'm trying to this year um, use like my supplies that I have. Um, though I will confess, I went to Michael's yesterday looking for something for the other journal cover and uh, bought some paper. I went all over town and looked at stuff and all that, trying to decide what I wanted to do on that other cover. So there it is. Here's my cute dad. Look at that. It would have been about two and a half, which would have made my Uncle John about seven. Such a cute picture. And I did, by the way, um, spray seal this because it's just an ink jet print and I didn't want, uh, I wanted to give it some protection. So this is spray sealed, you know, with the psh, matte sealer. There we go. Words is hard. Okay, now this one. Oh, boy, I'm on a roll of forgetting stuff. So here's my plan for this one. I wonder if this is dry yet. 
but I'll show you real quick. I think I might have to pause this because I didn't think this through all the way. I need to get some more supplies. But, I mean, you probably won't know because I'll just string all these videos together. But here is kind of my, yeah, I need to do something here first. But um, I want to, I'm going to put uh, some acetate in here and just a little bit of paper to raise this up. And then I want to, I'm hoping this will slide in and out. And I went around town looking for stuff for here, you know, because I liked this idea. By the way, I got this. This is Tim Holtz. I got this from Robin. Hi, Robin. And Happy Mail. I'm so excited to be using these. Um, so, and then that will be the cover. And then I'm thinking something down here, like a word plaque or something on fabric. I haven't thought that all the way through. But now I'm kind of looking at this. I'm changing my mind. <laughs> um... Does it feel busy? I don't know. I really like this frame. So, you know what? We might come back to this another day or I might show you this at the end of the video. I think I need to sleep on this. I, You know how you go from loving an idea to kind of going, I don't think I like it. I think it's too busy. And I feel like this is too busy. Um, I think there's too much going on in the photo. And I think... So we're going to have to put a pause on that one. That's the way the creative process is, which is probably good. Give this a chance. Oh, it looks like it needs a little bit more glue right here. I have a feeling I'm going to be being fussy over this for a while. So I need to sleep on this. So I will come back to this one with you guys, or I'll just show you. So we'll put that one on hold. And then we'll come here and do the, the Ricky Racky. So I'll put that aside. Maybe I'll do some of my other ideas I had for that. Because I just want to cover up that rectangle there. Um, and I had some other ideas. So, I think for the Rick Rack, we're just going to have it go end and begin. See, I know there's not like a lot of contrast. I could do red, but I like the subtlety of it. Um, so, uh, we're going to cut that. And just, oh, and you can watch me glue it down. And then let's see, is this a good length for this one over here? I think so. So we will see, I can kind of straighten it out a little bit using the Rick Rack. So, yeah, I've got uh, Raggedy Ann journals that are done. I'm almost done with the kit. I just need to pick out the fabrics to go in there. And then I just have to finish putting the listings uh, in draft. So I have a bunch of books and things to go with them. And that is what I should be doing right now. And this is what I'm doing instead. I, you know, but this is what I'm on fire for. And I'll know in a little while I'll need a mental break. I need to go do something else. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. I'm just kind of running the, I mean, nothing radical here. I'm just running the uh, glue. I'm not even going to do it all the way down the wiggly wiggly of the um and I think I want to have it so it looks like it's like right up to the bias tape and then let's see where does it end somewhere around here this is how I like to attach Rick Rack I love Rick Rack especially like at Christmas and then it's a wee bit long but you know what? we're just gonna lift up maybe can you lift that up? Uh, nope. <laughs> we'll just kind of squish it there then. We'll fake it. And there we go. So there's that one. And see, so you can still see some of the, it's not completely dry. We got, that's the medium, the, the decoupage medium. So we got that side. Now we'll do this side. I'm going to rotate this. See, I just feel like that makes it feel cozy. I don't know why, but it just does. Uh, so we're gonna, I'm gluing part of the way, not all the way, about as far as I can handle it. And start here kind of on the edge over that finished part. And then I have to move it around a little. Yeah, I think that will work. 
looking at my computer to see how it looks on the screen. Alrighty, and then I have one more part of this we're going to work on today. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out. I think I want to go back and work on that other cover so I can come back and film that so it's all on one thing. But, you know, this is the way the creative process is. Sometimes you look at it and you go, you know, I was in love with that idea and now I don't like it. So... All right, and I'm not even going to worry about this being flat. All right, so there is the cover. The, um, and I think before I work on, I don't have a lot to do on the inside yet. Um, all I want to do today, but I want this to dry all the way and it's not quite there. So let, I'm going to pause this again. Not that you'll know because it'll just be a continuous thing. But I'm saying, you know, talk every all my ideas out loud. And then I will be back. So see you in a second. Okay, after much trial and tribulation, I figured it out. And I like this much better. Um, I just love that old photo. So what I did is I took a dye that I don't know where I put it. But it was just a no-name brand uh, one off of. Amazon and I die cut it and I well before I this is some of my coffee dyed cardstock and I put um double stick tape on it ran it through my die cutter and then very carefully laid it out you know like peeled off the back it was very fidgety and fudgily and it took me like three times so uh would not have been very interesting to watch and then old sheet music and then I stitched around it and then I inked um, well, actually, before I stitched it on, I inked around there. And I like it. I like it a lot. I think that's going to work well. Um, so I'm going to glue it down. And then I was playing with these Tim Holtz. They're from um, this pack. Christmas Botanicals. Probably from last year, if I was to guess. And as I said, I'll try to find these if I remember. Ugh. The way things are going today, I don't know. We will, we will manage our expectations. So I have not glued this down yet. I just wanted to show you. And I'm just going to use my trusty 3-in-1. I'm sure, um, you know, Aline's tacky glue would work and art glitter glue. And as I said be earlier, it's just really important that you clean um, these covers really well. Uh, so, thing, so the glue and stuff will stick down. Um, I just used a magic eraser, but probably even like a little bit of Dawn dish soap on a sponge, lightly wet, not super wet, um, or something like that too. Okay. So excuse me. I gotta, I gotta see what I'm doing here. Try to center it the best I can really get down around the edges. Oh, and look at that. The music's not upside down. Ooh, I'm on a roll. All right. Okay, I just realized I don't think I double checked that, but I can see the words are the right side up. And I do, oh boy, the sun's kind of funny. All right, so what was I thinking? I think I like that. It kind of gives it this traditional look, and I don't feel like, let me center that there. I don't feel like it's too busy. I like kind of seeing it on the screen too, because you get to see what it looks like further away. Yeah, I think that will work. I might. Tweak it a little. I'm not gonna overthink it. It's a little late now, I suppose, but I think I'll move that in a little bit. All right, three trusty three and one again. Let's burnish that. And oh yeah, I should add the what I want on the top and the bottom of that too. Um, I don't know. I think I'll move on to the inside and do that when I'm all done. That way it can dry overnight since that uh, pleather. It's kind of slickery. Um, so you'll have to see what that looks like later. All right. So we're going to rotate this. And just kind of eyeball it and push it down and hold it for a second and try not to be impatient. Okay. Looks like it's got a... All right. There's that. And I like these holly. I like the um, old fashionedness or the old timeyness look. And I like how this uh, 
the the inking I you know came out on my uh, paper there. Boy, I tell you, I I cut out three or four of those Merry Christmases and tried them on different surfaces, and I was going through all the stuff I bought yesterday. Um, whew. that was hard. It is hard. Okay, there we go. So we'll let that set up. And then can you... So there's the cover. I like it. I like it. I like it. All right, so let me... Now the other one, we can work on the inside of that, and I'll show you what I meant for... All right, so we got this guy. And another close-up there for you. And I think, hopefully my... Scissors aren't too sticky. I need to clean them. Um, I think I'm going to trim these. I don't really want those threads. Okay. So, what the plan was. Now, is this the right... It should fit. Let me look. This is the uh, fabric washi I made. You know, like, how we were all doing it back in the day. Um, where you take carpet tape. I'm just trying to decide what I like best. Carpet tape on fabric and these are fabric scraps and these are kind of like what I these are from these are the ones I kept for myself but I had them last year in my store and I will do it again at some point um I still have a whole tote of fabric scraps it's one of those it's just kind of a time consuming job I like to do it because it's a good use for these we like to have scraps and variety but not necessarily store a ton of fabric um but it's time consuming for me. I got to go through. I like to make sure that there's enough variety in. Um, yeah, this one has a wrinkle, but I don't really mind that. So, okay, let's. So what I'm doing is I'm just kind of eyeballing it. Now I'm going to, this part is tricky and I will try to do it so you guys can see. Um, it's been a long time since I've done stuff like this. Um, so peel carpet tape. I'm kind of, hopefully I burnished it on there well. Looks like it. I'm kind of tempted to just do a little bit at a time. Um, I don't know. I'd like to do the long, along the long side first if I can. Let's see. It's a sticky. I probably should have left out my tweezers. <laughs> sticky is good. We want it to be sticky because I feel like the, see the extra threads that it has? I feel like that gives the... Um, I mean, I don't know for sure, but I feel like it gives the, that spine, that weak part of the spine, some extra, extra strength. Okay. So I'm trying to make sure that I pretty much got, I mean, I'm going to go over this with, uh, something else on the inside. I haven't decided yet, so I won't show that today, but I'm trying to make sure that like I've got it covered to the, um, that part, the outside, cause I like that. So, and then I should, I'm just get it. so this is actually probably wider than I need, it's, but it gives me flexibility when I, um, I'm going to, I'm trying to decide between putting scrapbook paper in here or ads or a combination like a, I, be, I went through my old Christmas magazine, or I should say they're not Christmas magazines, my old magazines and, um, went through and bookmarked a bunch of ads now see like this part it's not really covered up um but there's probably going to be paper like up to here so i'll be sure it's covered up then but even if it's not with that green it kind of works um but we've got that in there and we've really got it into that crack and crevice to give that some extra support and strength all right so let's see if i can do it again and also, this one's also from last year. And as I said, I don't know if I have different fabrics than I had last year. Of course, since it's a random grouping, if you were to get a second pack, you, you'll probably get doubles if you bought it last year. Um, but since I haven't done it yet, I don't know. I can't remember. Most of these are from my good friend Carol. Um, she's an amazing quilter. One of these days, I should... You know what I'm going to do one of these days? I'm going to go to the store that she sells her quilts and I'm going to 
film her booth because you guys have got to see how amazing she is. Um, because she doesn't, every, you know, there's lots of really good quilters, but I think Carol's knack, besides being a really good quilter, oh boy, this is harder, um, is she puts together an entire story. So she doesn't just say, oh, I want to make a quilt out of this fabric. She does a couple quilts that kind of all coordinate together and, um, she makes aprons and smalls and oh this is very crooked well i think we're stuck all right so tip if you're doing this i'm going to say don't do a line <laughs> or a stripe i think it'll be okay since most of it's going to be covered up but um i was kind of hoping to not see i got that wrinkle and i was kind of hoping to only have the paper go to like that wrinkle but I think well we'll figure it out as we go um matter of fact and once again I went up too high here and it is down it's not going anywhere um but that's okay is it a handmade handmade look and the way things are going for me today I should just be grateful I got it down matter of fact I wonder if I can probably this is probably a mistake um, see, I usually use a rotary cutter because cutting this with scissors is not a good idea. But since these need a good cleaning anyway, let's give it a shot. This is probably one of those, uh, do as I say, don't do as I do moments. Okay. Yep. <laughs> yep. That's, uh... I know there's going to be paper over this, so I just, I don't feel like I need a perfect line. I just don't like the idea of it covering. There we go. It didn't really, at least Tim Holtz scissors are, they can handle it. Alrighty. So, there's that. So, I don't have the inside decided on yet. But now I've got that extra bit of strength there on this old kitchen um, cookbook and see it's nice and stiff and strong and I did go over by the way I think I showed you that earlier and I think I'm just gonna go with it and not really worry about it um I'm almost tempted you have to tell me what you think of maybe putting some lace or something along here just to plus it uh you know it's always you just always kind of have a work in progress okay so let's do the other one can I find the fabric strips that is the question Oops, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to hit you. Oh my gosh. Alrighty, so, see, we've got the, where it was split right there, so it's really important. And I put them in a very safe place. Now, where was that safe place? I put them separate. Oh, here they are, look at that. Okay. So, I'm gonna do, I couldn't decide, so I did extra, but I'm gonna do both of these like this. And... Yeah, oh, it's a little shorter than the um, thing, but I think it will be right. It's longer than the white, and as I said, I'm planning on having paper come out to here, so I think that will be okay. Um, this one, I wish I had another one of these that I could. I don't think I have any more of this um, Betty Crocker one. Um, I'm just going to set that there. I I'm going to start with the uh, one that needs it the most. Because I have to say, I like, I like this, the way it's constructed. It's a little easier to put together. This one was a first edition, but since it wasn't like in the best of shape, I thought, well, I debated whether or not, you know, to sell it just because it, in case someone's a collector out there. Um, but really, I don't know. I don't like selling them when they're Spines are damaged. It's too stressful to ship it. I don't want it to get worse on um, when I'm mailing them. Okay, so I'm gonna stand up. Stand up, and I'm gonna slide in as close to that as I can get without getting on it. Um, okay, use my fingers. 
and press it. Now see, we still have, hopefully, hmm, hopefully the outside will hold that split together. Well, I'm gonna put this through the paces while I'm working on these journals. Hmm, see, I don't like, I don't really like that. I'm gonna have to think on that. Um, this might end up with, since it's the top, I could put some lace or something there. Um, and I haven't trimmed the front yet. So, we will think about that. I mean, there it's glued and it's got lots of stuff on it. So, I don't think it's going anywhere, but it's just not comforting to see that split. Uh, the creative process, I'll tell you. Oh, fudge. Oh, well. <laughs> well, this should be fun. Well, this is what it's like if you accidentally peel off the whole back. So still stand up, look at your top and your bottom, slide it in as close as you can get it. Okay. Well, that wasn't so bad. I actually liked the cloth. I did think about just doing some coffee dyed muslin, but I like the trees too. Alrighty. So that is as far as I'm going to go today on these. Um, I need to give some thought to that little split there. I think, um, maybe, I think, as I said, I think maybe we'll do some lace or something here. It could be really cute, especially sticking out out of the top or rickrack or something. And then for this, now, we already saw me change my mind once, and I already buried the ribbon. But anyway, I was trying to decide between rickrack and ribbon so i'll have to give that some thought thanks for watching me bumble and stumble and uh work on and thank you for working on me with me with these journals see i cannot even talk today um i hope you're having a good one and i'll see you in the next one bye